everyone, and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the MI Gardener channel. I know you're all going to love this one, but before we get started, I wanted to remind you that this episode was brought to you ad free for 30 days by MIGardener.com, your number one source for heirloom, organic, and non GMO seeds. We have over 200 varieties. Yes, count it 200 varieties, and we're adding more every week. There's also free videos, blog posts, pictures. Everything that we do is all grouped into one, so it's worth checking out if you like free information and you like growing bigger going home. So I highly recommend going and checking that out. Now let's get on with the episode. So in this episode, we are going to talk about a desktop hydroponic setup. I know you all are going to love it because of the fact that it's not only something that anyone anywhere can be doing. A lot of you talked about uh, in my hydroponic videos saying, Luke, there's no way I can grow as big as you can because I don't have that much space. I just can't afford a four by four uh, grow bed, let alone two of them. And I thought, mm, it's probably right. <laughs> probably should do something that anyone anywhere can do. So this is going to be for you because it's desktop. It's small and uh, it's gonna take up very little space, but it's gonna be for one plant and preferably nothing too big, like a lettuce or an herb will be ideal, It'll be so perfect. Just do it with those things and you're gonna have no problem, I promise. The next thing uh, that it is, is very cheap. I know you all have said, there's no way I can afford those big beds. Those are way too expensive. And um, yeah, <laughs> they are. When you grow bigger, go home, sometimes things get a little bit pricey, but this is not one of them. This DIY project is so cheap. It costs less than $3. And I, how do I know it costs less than $3? because I went out and bought the parts and it cost me less than $3. So I know it's gonna cost you less than $3. What you're going to want to get is a half gallon bucket. This here we got from blueberry, a blueberry farm. We go to a U-Pick farm and we get blueberries in these. This did not cost us anything. However, I know you can go to a bakery. They have icing and sugar and flour sometimes in these and they have to throw them out. And oftentimes, if you just say, hey, uh, I would like to get some free buckets, they'll put your name on a waiting list and sometimes they even have some right on hand they'll give you. And all you have to do is wash them out because they usually come with some stuff in them and they're food grade, so great to have. Half gallon bucket is gonna be what you need, what you're going to need. Or you can just go with a coffee can, um, one of those plastic uh, coffee tubs things. I don't drink coffee, but you know, one of those coffee things. Um, <laughs> one of those, something around the same size is gonna be fine. And it's going to need a lid too, so make sure you get a lid with it. The next thing you're going to need is, uh, oh, by the way, this does not cost me a dime. So this should not cost you a dime either. So this is free. Next thing you're going to need is one two inch net cup. This cost us 29 cents. We got one of them, 29 cents. One cube of rock wool. This should cost you around five cents. So now we're up to uh, 34 cents. One bubbler. Got this for 10 cents. So now we're up to 44 cents for the project. The most expensive thing you're going to need is a bubbler. I got this bubbler in the in the uh, pet section of Walmart for 250. 250 for a bubbler. So now we are up to 250 plus 44. You're now at 294 for this project. So less than $3, like I said. This comes with a high and low setting. It's nothing super fancy. It's got air tubing and that's all you're going to need. So now what we're going to do is, um, oh, and uh, you're gonna need some fertilizer of your choice. I did not add this into the cost, but I guarantee you for the amount that you're going to add to this, it's going to be probably maybe between five and 10 cents worth of fertilizer. So you're still under that $3 mark, um, but you're going to need some hydroponic fertilizer of your choice. Um, and I'm just using a Master Blend Pro. So uh, recommend doing that as well. It's a great all-in-one fertilizer for you. So. Let's get on with the project. All right, so this is a really important step. When you're cutting the hole in the lid, you wanna go right in the center, but you do not wanna tip it upside down because when you take the, the circumference of the top of the net cup, it's going to be too wide and your net cup's going to fall right through the hole. You wanna go with the narrowest part of the net cup, so set it up just like it was setting in the system and use that for your circumference. Okay, it does not need to be neat, clearly. And then all you're going to do is just cut it out. A razor works good, scissors work best.
Okay, so get that out. And you're gonna make sure that you get the hole just a little bit bigger. And you're gonna to wanna to start with that hole and make it bigger as you go because you can make the hole bigger, but you can't make the hole smaller, if you know what I mean. So uh, it's something that you can work on till it fits snug, but you don't want it to be too big. Okay, we need to go a little bit bigger. All right, I'm gonna get this cut out here and then when I get it right, I'll be back with you. All right, and about two, three minutes later and some finessing, we were able to get the hole. It's not pretty by any means, but it does not have to be rocket science. As you can see, it fits snug, and that's all that matters. You just have to have it fit snug so that the net cup does not fall through. Don't overcomplicate it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on to the bucket, and we're basically going to cut an X into the the bucket here because you don't want to do it on the side if you do it on the side you're going to have gross solution splashing out and if you do it on a desktop and you're working with uh you know computers or any type of electronics water and electronics don't go well together and basically any type of desktop situation you don't want water on your desk so what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the top and that's going to make sure that the the water stays in the bucket and is not spilling out the sides so what we've done here is we've just put an x into the top here and I've just made sure that the X, it's going to um, basically be wide enough to accept the, the air tubing. But the reason why we did an X and didn't cut a hole is because it's going to actually be even more airtight because the X, it's just like the, uh, if you ever had the soft drink lid, um, they basically just cut an X into the top of the, the sippy cup, you know, and uh, just helps to hold the, the air tubing in place and it makes it way more airtight than having a, a hole there. All right, so the secret here is to have just enough tubing that you don't want a bunch of extra down in the bottom of the bucket. You just want enough to be just down at the bottom. So I think that is, that is perfect right there. I'm going to draw a line basically on the underside so that if it ever gets pulled up, I'm going to know that the bubbler is not at the bottom because it's very crucial to have aeration through the entire bucket there. So that way, if it ever pops up and I see this black line, I'm going to note, well, oh shoot, it needs to be pushed down. So this should be just under the rim. Okay, so now all we're going to do is we're going to, oops, gotta attach the bubbler here. So we're gonna attach the bubbler to the air tubing okay and then what we're going to do is simply put the lid on and now it's ready for grow solution which we're going to put right here and then we're going to put our plant in which we already have started all right so we've got our hydroponic solution i'm just going to pour this in And one last stir just to make sure everything is dissolved. And then we're just going to attach the lid. We're gonna find our mark here, okay, right below the line. So now we know that the bubbler is in the very bottom of the bucket. And then all we're going to do is put a plant in. Here we have an arugula plant that we've been growing for some time now. It's got some beautiful, nice long roots, and we're gonna just drop this right into the bucket there. And we're ready to grow. All we have to do is turn on the bubbler. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something new. And if you do decide to make this, post your pictures over on the Facebook page. We love to see what people are taking from these videos, and we love to know that you are taking something from it and applying it to your lives, because that's why we make these videos. So hopefully you all enjoyed, hopefully you learned something new, and hopefully you all are growing big or going home. This is Luke from the MI Gardener channel, and I'll see you. Bye.